Hi, I just got back from seeing The Northman, the new film written, uh, co-written and directed by Robert Eggers. Um, I really liked his previous film, uh, The Lighthouse, one of my films of the year in 2019, although this film before that, The Witch, I was less keen on. But I came to this with a lot of optimism. Um, it's a two and a half hour Viking era epic um, inspired by the same myth uh, upon which eventually evolved into Hamlet. It's the story of a young uh, Viking prince whose father is betrayed and murdered, and he escapes, uh, vowing vengeance on his uh, treacherous uncle, and that he will rescue his mother and avenge his father's death. Uh, years later, now a uh, roving warrior, he uh, goes uh, he disguises himself as a slave uh, to allow him to be sold into slavery, working for his exile uncle now living in Iceland um, in order to exact his revenge uh, with the assistance of a female slave whom he befriends and who becomes his co-conspirator and later his lover. Um, it looks spectacular. Robert Eggers' films always look spectacular. He has a unique gift for finding dreadful beauty. I think that's a, a right phrase because his films are suffused with dread. There is always brutal violence. There is always horrifying bloodshed. There is always a grim, oppressive atmosphere, but the most beautiful photography and surroundings. I mean, the lighthouse is set on a blasted rock in the middle of nowhere, and it looks unbelievably beautiful. Um, that said, I didn't find it perhaps as engaging as The Lighthouse. Um, it's much more of a, a straightforward, coherent story, um, uh, as opposed to that film's chamber drama and symbolism. This is much more of a, a straightforward uh, adventure, albeit in Egger's unusual uh, register. But it's very long, it's relatively slow, and it's I found it to be comparatively shallow. Um, there are interesting elements at play in terms of um, uh, myth and heroism, but the, uh, enjoying the film, I think, really requires you to engage with the central character, who is a violent, unrepentant murderer. But because we are given as is typical with Egger's work, we are, everything is couched in the context of the time. And for the time, yeah, that's fine. Everyone goes around murdering everybody else. That's normal. Um, he has um, limits on his morals. He doesn't kill the innocent. Um, and he even um, saves the life of his half-brother, although it's ambiguous as to whether or not that was a deliberate act of uh, mercy or part of his overall plan. Um, it's it's a film, there's not really a great deal else to say. It's brilliantly made. It looks spectacular. The performances are all very strong. Um, I found it odd that I, I'm sure that Brendan Gleeson was in it, but he isn't credited. Maybe it's just an actor who looks like him. Um, but you have in the main role, Ag Alexander Skarsgård as his parents, Ethan Hawke and Nicole Kidman, Clarice Bang as his uncle, um, Willem Dafoe is a, a trickster fool type figure. Um, uh, Anya Taylor Joy as the uh, Ukrainian um, co conspirator, and even a cameo by Björk as a witch. So you have this extraordinary cast. It looks fantastic. It's generally good, but it, I have to say it falls a, a long way short of being great. If you enjoyed his previous films, then I'd recommend it. Um, I certainly didn't feel like I was wasting my time. But if you're after something that's maybe a bit more straightforward or conventional, and you maybe fell for the advertising strapline that it was this generation's gladiator, which it absolutely isn't, um, I would recommend probably trying something else.